All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. And today we're starting with some weatherproofing for the year with a new storm door. So one of the things that we are focusing on this year is weatherproofing this house, where we're trying to upgrade things, we're gonna be redoing our heating system, uh, adding insulation to the attic, insulating things, uh, tightening things up a little bit, and just making our wood stove that we heat our home with a little bit more efficient. So we're gonna just try to do a whole bunch of these little things. One of the, the biggest impacts that you can have on the door area, as far as insulation goes, is installing storm doors. Even a cheap storm door is gonna do you um, a lot better than not having one at all. Now, neither our front or back door here had a storm door when we moved in, um, and it's something that we greatly missed because we do get some, uh, even with new seals and things like that on the door, you still get, you know, wind batters this house uh, on this side and the back door, um, and all that wind and rain is just hitting right on that door. You end up getting, you know, trim and stuff like that rots out around your door. Windows and doors are a huge uh, energy leak for your home. Uh, you're going from a two by six or two by four wall uh, that has insulation in it and then you've got you know wood on the outside of that and then you've got a uh, siding or brick or whatever so you've got a really thick insulation layer on a normal wall and then you've got a window which is usually just a double or triple pane piece of glass or you have a door where you have just a piece of wood that's maybe an inch or two thick and so no matter what if you have the best doors in the world they're probably not going to have an insulation value like a wall does but installing a storm door creates an air gap between the interior door and the out, outside air or outside weather. And uh, that air inside there is a lot warmer than the outside air. And you know, it helps to, to create a, a better insulation uh, value. So, so installing storm doors is, uh, is gonna help us out quite a bit here, especially since we have some old leaky door frames. <laughs> so we're putting in an Anderson door today that uh, we picked up at Home Depot. I will put a link to the door that we got. Uh, we have two doors I'll show you today. Uh, I'll put a link to those over on Home Depot in the description. But uh, let me take you through the door that we already put on the back and uh, the door that we're going to put on today here in the front. We're gonna go through the whole installation uh, and I'll just talk a little bit about why we chose what we chose. So this is the Anderson uh, 3000 series that we just installed on the back door. Um, it's a real nice, nice looking. We got black, you can pick different colors uh, and the hardware does not come with it. You have to buy that separately. Um, there's a specific uh, hardware kit that I'll put again, link over on, on, on a Home Depot site just cause that's where we got it from. Um, but you get this kit that goes with this door. It's their quick install uh, series door. Now this one, you'll see it has the glass, but you can also just pop this down and then the top portion rolls down to a screen. And so you've got the, the screen available there. Now the bottom section of the door does not have that. This bottom section of the door here is just glass. Um, we wanted that very specifically because... Hey, where'd you get that? Ow, bit my hand. Be careful. That looks like one of the girl's toys. You stole it, didn't you? Because of this little puppy here, we want to make sure that we have uh, have glass on the bottom half of the doors because she'll just blow right through it. She won't see it. She'll be running. She She's very, very <laughs> active and uh, she's not paying attention to stuff like that. She doesn't care about screens, so she'll blow right through that and wreck it, I'm sure, probably in a day or two. So we, had, uh, we want to have glass on the bottom half of the door at least, but at least we can open that top half up uh, real easily and let nice air in in the fall and spring. Now on the front door, I'll show you what we chose for that, something a little different. This is the, uh, the one that we're gonna put in today. This is the same series, it's a 3000 series uh, Anderson. This one does not have the, uh, the roll down screen. This actually has a, an insect screen included. So this is a full pane of glass from top to bottom. Uh, but it has a screen that you can replace. So uh, if we wanna put a screen in there later in life, we can pop the glass door out, store it in the garage or something like that, and then pull the screen out of the garage and put it in there for that period of time. However, again, with the dogs, we probably will not do that. So a couple things to consider before you uh, purchase your door, whether you want a right or left hand. Now, 
Uh, this one, our, our door opens on the right-hand side. So this is a right-handed door from this, this side. Uh, and that's where we want the handle to be for the screen door, also for the storm door. We want to be able to open it over here and then um, access the handle right there. Uh, you could do the opposite, but that would be kind of goofy if you opened the door on this side and then had to get in there to open the door on that side. So I think you want them both to open on the same side. At least that's the way um, we're going to do it here. You do kind of have to make sure that your handles don't line right up. So you don't want the storm door handle to line right up with this one because they'll hit each other. Um, but if you have a standard door, that shouldn't be an issue. The storm door handle will be um, above it, and that's just the way they're designed, so they don't, don't hit each other. But you do have to double check that, just make sure if you have a standard door, that shouldn't be an issue. These do not come with a handle, uh, so it tells you all over the box it doesn't come with a handle. And this is the 45 minute easy install version of the Anderson doors. And so this is the uh, handle that we got to match the handle that we have there. It's uh, pretty close anyway, as far as the color is concerned. It's 45 minute easy install. It is an easy install, and we're gonna go through that today, but it did take me a little longer than 45 minutes uh, for the back door. So this is everything that you get uh, as far as hardware is concerned. This one actually has two of the uh, gas uh, shocks, uh, opening and closing shocks, one in the bottom, one in the top. Uh, which is really nice for the uh, heavier door with full glass in it. And it comes with the drill bit. Um, the only other thing, only other tool I'm going to have is my screw gun with a Phillips bit uh, to put all these screws in. Uh, all these screws are going to be for the actual door frame itself. There's some plugs for um, screw holes you don't use. And then this, all this stuff here goes for the, uh, um, the closer, opener and closer shock when you uh, put that in. Really not a lot of tools that you need. I mean, even comes with the drill bit. So just a couple things that make jobs like these so much easier is just having the right tools. And this is just a, a little kit that I picked up at uh, Home Depot. Um, this is a DeWalt. There's plenty of other options, uh, but this is a really nice little kit. And uh, it comes with a whole bunch of different sized Phillips bits. So you've got majority number two, which is the kind of the standard size. That's what we're using with these screws that we're putting in for the, the door uh, framing. Uh, just a number two Phillips screw. They also have the number three bits in here, a couple of those. Uh, there's extras in here, so if you lose a couple, there's still there's still more. Um, you got the shorter style uh, bits in here that are these are all number two. I think this might be a number one here, um, the smaller one, and a number three a shorter bit. And then you've got these longer ones. Now the nice thing about these longer ones is that uh, it also comes with this little uh, this little adapter, and it has a, a magnetic ring on it right here, and a kind of a snap uh, ring on the inside. And so these longer bits, this fits right over here. And just enough of the of the uh, head of the, the Phillips bit there protrudes, and so it, it'll magnetize right to that screw, and it's just perfect. It holds the screw centered right on your bit, and you can pop it off real easily. Um, and man, does this thing just run screws in really nice. You can see the magnet just holds the, holds the screw right on there. So the magnet is held by that whole ma magnet on the ring, and, and I mean, you can't knock this screw out. So you could have a four inch screw hang out of this thing and it'll still hold it straight in there. So you don't need to use two hands. You can just pop your screw on there and then, and then run them in. So man, is this just nice to have um, little, little things uh, and having the right size bits and bits that aren't stripped out too. These are, um, there's a good one. You can buy, you buy the cheap bits and you're gonna end up, they're just gonna strip out. And so, you know, you spend a little bit of extra money, get nice hardened steel bits and they won't, uh, they won't get all chewed up and uh, then they're useless once once that happens so just little things like that make life a whole lot easier so the other tool that i just absolutely love is this dewalt uh, uh drill um screw gun drill whatever you want to call it uh this is the 20 volt system from them this has been a beast i've had this for a couple years i have beat it up it's been left out in the rain it's been 
you know, just not taken care of as well as I should have. Uh, and it still just runs so great. Even on these, the smaller 20 volt batteries, it runs really well. But the thing I like about this, and I've seen other tool companies start doing this now, but I think DeWalt was the original one to have these. It has, all their tools have these little hooks on them. And it fits right in the top part of your pocket. And man, is that handy. I mean, I just, I, I can't imagine having a screw gun that doesn't have that. I just, I don't need a tool belt when I'm out doing something that just requires, you know, one tool. I can just carry this thing around and that frees up my hands to deal with whatever I'm working with. So I can hold screws or have other things available and then I can just grab this and use it without, uh, without having an extra thing to hold. So just that little hook just makes life so much easier with these, uh, these DeWalt drills. are a number three it doesn't really tell you in the instructions if you try to use a number two bit on these screws you can see how how loose it is you'll strip it out and you'll wreck your bit this number three nice and solid in there best part about these storm doors is that it's sealed up nice and tight to the the trim around the door frame um, and then you've got this nice seal right here that metal door just closes right on that it creates a, an air pocket in here that's it's just nice and tight and keep keep all the cold air out and you can see that rubber seal along the bottom which is adjustable you it uh, just seals right to the threshold so it's just a nice, nice airtight seal, so it'll keep all the drafts out. This one actually has a foot button right on the bottom here, so you can open the door and press that to keep the door open, so it's real easy. You can do it with your hands full, and then you just open the door a little bit and let it close. Well, now we've got our new storm door on the front here, as well as our smart lock on the inside, and so uh, this project is completed. Uh, if you haven't seen the video where we put the smart lock in, or, or I guess not a smart lock, the keyless entry. Uh, I did that uh, on a video earlier this week, and uh, we're real happy with that thing. It's been working really good so far, uh, and it'll just be nice to not have to mess with keys and now have, not have to mess with drafts on either our front or our back door. Plus, we can now open the door and enjoy the garden and the animals and things like that, which are all out behind you here. So. And this is a, an easy way and not too expensive way of, of really helping to seal up your home and making it more weatherproof. You're going to save a lot of energy without drafts and things like that blowing through here, uh, especially in the Michigan winters. I mean, it gets real windy. Snow is blowing right at this side of the house and the back door. They're both on the south and west side of the house. And so they just get pounded all year with rain and snow and hail and sleet and wind and, and everything else. And so uh, this is going to help out a lot with drafts. You could sit in the kitchen sometimes and just feel cold air just blowing through, especially the bottom half part of this door. Um, and I tried everything to seal it up and it just wasn't, uh, wasn't working. So. so check out the storm doors and uh, the tools that we used in today's video. As always, there'll be links in the description um, over on Amazon and on Home Depot. Uh, Home Depot now has free shipping on orders, I think over 45. And so like storm doors and bigger things like that, you, of course, you can click and order just like you would on Amazon. It's free shipping, uh, which is pretty nice because for us, Driving to Home Depot and driving to stores is a 30 minute drive there and a 30 minute drive back. So 
uh, I love ordering things online, and so uh, make it easy as possible. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video and uh, subscribe if you want to follow along. Of course, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications when we post new content. There's going to be lots of DIY projects coming up over the next few weeks. Uh, getting ready for heating season, getting ready to fire up the wood stove, cleaning the chimney, and uh, just helping us to get our furnace going again and installing a new water heater. So lots of things coming up. So subscribe if you want to follow along, of course. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Thank you.